overall vibe of it like it's just so amazing to listen to all the time it's it's funky you know that's the thing like the the bays always had the funk i feel like every region i've said this before in other contexts but every single region where hip-hop exists is a reflection of the mute the other music that that yeah. region was known yes. for so yeah it, it's it's a reflection of that and it's a reflection of the method of consumption of that music let me give you some examples right so let's talk about new york new york huge history with jazz music what do you mm -hmm. have you had a bunch of music with jazz samples it was throwing Ooh, back jazz jazzy jazz. you feel me uh, like tribe called quest pete rock and cl smooth you and yeah, even like you, yeah, yeah they, and even like the you know more harder edged music like you still hear nuances of jazz through it you know what i'm saying yeah. like Rockin', black moon all that G shit G -Rap, rap came G -Rap, everybody big time. everybody had like some some jazz tinge in there somewhere thrown in there and people were listening to music on um, boom boxes you feel me on the corners not everybody has a car in new york you feel me the motherfuckers are walking around with the boom boxes boom boxes don't have as much capacity for bass but the drums smack hella hard so you have loud drums jazz music that's new york west coast we had dance parties roller rinks you feel me like bay area included la included like dance parties roller rinks funk music it's all about the funk so what do you hear in our music you hear funk dj quick you feel me you hear the mm. funk dr dre you hear the funk gangster rap g funk you hear the funk bay area mob music funk in the trunk that's it where is music primarily listened to cars everybody's got fucking old schools mobbing around so it's very bass heavy music boom okay let's take a look at the south what's the prevailing um musical influence of the south well they have a huge marching band culture which has always been there you see you feel me military marching bands She's like so what do you what does the music sound like you hear all these hyper paced drums you know what i'm saying like Love soulful it. elements and hyper paced drums and and which is like echoing the motherfucking snare and uh, hi-hat rattles that you hear and where do people to listen to music in the south the motherfucking strip club so it's hella bassy and it has that tempo that bitches can dance to boom midwest what's over in the midwest it's the country you feel me it's country music it's like it's bouncy you know what i mean because the blues comes from there country comes from there you hear that in the music twister it's nelly tech nine you feel me like all these cool. examples so these are all the music of a, the hip-hop of specific regions are a reflection of their roots. Let's look at Canada for a second. Who was the first rapper we ever heard from Canada? Well, Maestro Fresh West and Snow. And what was Snow? Influenced by Jamaican culture. Because yep. there's hella Jamaicans and Trinis and Islanders all through Super. Toronto. And then you still hear it in Drake's music to this day. Wow, a lot of the a lot of the Toronto rappers to this day have that influence. So like okay, that's Kicking all the knowledge right now, bro. Kicking bro, all like, the knowledge. Just, Facts. Just, like, yeah, nah. Mind, you like, you said right. it and immediately. As soon as you said it, immediately I'm thinking about New Orleans. I'm thinking yep. about Memphis. I'm yep. thinking about just all these places that, yeah, absolutely. Like, their regions, the, that's why their hip-hop sounds the way that it sounds. A hundred percent. of the influence of what already exists there in that area. The, like New Orleans Creole flavor, New Orleans yep. jazz, kind of offbeat. Like you know, what I'm saying you see, you hear the same sounds in Juvenile's old beats and uh, Kingpin and all that shit that you would hear in New Orleans jazz. You feel me? Like Soldier Slim, all that shit. You hear that in their music. Yeah. Fucking Memphis, like like country rock music, is same thing. You feel me? Like it's you you hear in Kingpin's pimps. And three six yeah. mafia's music, you hear that like that rock element in it, you know what I mean? Man, that country like, element in it. It's, it's crazy. Yo, I never thought about it quite like that before. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people where I'm from think about it quite like as you describe so much of that, because um sometimes we're focused on places that have success and we focus a lot on what works in other places without maybe looking at our hometown. And I think why it matters is um like the fans of your hometown are already fucking with all this shit so splicing some of that and you're more attractive to your local audience a hundred percent a hundred percent and it's gonna like if it resonates with the hood there's a good chance it'll resonate in the next hood and um yeah that's definitely 
how regional flavors get concocted and you know to bring it back to your original question about the hyphy movement that's exactly how that happened we were making music for the people around us that spoke the language and the people around us and lived that lifestyle and that's just like it became something that um to this day like has a prevailing influence on the game but it resonates way harder what like you talk about e40 i always liked e40's music always liked his shit when i moved to the bay area he instantly made a hundred times more sense and to this day it's like that with like i feel like i was saying to, to flacco not too long ago like I wasn't crazy about a lot of the newer Brooklyn drill music. One night kicking in in Brooklyn recently, and it all made sense. And now I got got fucking twenty two G's and Dusty Locaine and in, ro in rotation. You <laughs> feel me? Because it just suddenly I was like, oh, I get it. Get it. I get yeah. it. Because this is the environment it's supposed to be. Yeah, no. Nah, all all for, music like, like that is like that. Like mm. when you experience it, that music in their city. In their town, it just hits so much more differently. Like, mm -hmm.